Welcome back to my channel. It is Kimberly. I'm out in the garden. As you can tell, oh, that's a good view. That gives you a good view of the space that I grow all of my vegetables in. Um, so yeah, we are in the garden today. Well, for a few minutes. I came out early this morning and pruned all the tomato plants back. Um, we still have a good bit of time for sun still here in the south. So I'm not pulling them all up. I pulled a couple of them up a couple weeks ago. I think you all saw that already, but <clears throat> I'm not pulling them all up. So I'm keeping the ones that we have. So I pruned them back and I'm gonna show you all that, but I wanted to show you all my worm bin as well. Um, that's the worm bin. This is the compost bin. I did a video, which I don't think I've uploaded yet. I think it was in editing um, of me introducing worms to the compost bins. Now I did reg wigglers because I wasn't gonna do a separate bin for them but I find that I do way more than the amount of food compost wise. So I didn't want to kill my worms, but as you can see, that's the pile that needs to go in the compost of my tomatoes that I pruned. So here goes tomatoes. And you can see I pruned these back. They're still hanging a good bit, but they're still producing. This is my favorite one for this year. It's the chocolate cherry tomatoes. That's what they're called. And they produce, and they are so good. I mean, those are literally like ones you can pop in your mouth right from the really right from the the vine so i'm looking at my swiss chard plant can you tell me what's wrong with it something has eaten my leaves and i bet you it's one of these big behind caterpillars hornworms rather darn it Yep, that's what did it. I know that's what did it. <clears throat> Sheesh. Can't have nothing. Burn it. Okay, so that's a diversion. Um, let's see. I think the sun is get <laughs> the sun is getting it too it's not liking the heat that's my swiss chard and i love my swiss chard sheesh look at that he tore my leaves up i hate those darn hornworms and that's definitely a hornworm I'm telling you, when I see those things, I just kill them. And I'm sorry, that's my lettuce bin. And it's too hot for this right now. Let me get it out of the sun. Your lettuce does not like a lot of sun. It does not like it at all. So let's put, <clears throat> let's put these in the compost bin and I'll let you see the compost bin. This is our compost bin. And this is a tomato that fell off. It's still too small. It's gonna taste not good. So that's our compost bin. I'm trying to let you see down there and see if you can see any worms. Oh, they've gone down. We'll cover that up. And then let me let you see the worm bin. So 
this is the worm bin. Oh, they've gone down too. Oh, there they go. You see one right there, one right there. So they're still up top. They're enjoying it. They're going deep now. There's a couple more over there. They're going deep now because I put that sun on them. I'm like, Mama, what you doing? We're going to give them, oops, sorry. We're going to give them a little bit of time to get acclimated to that because I just did that worm bin this morning. So I just took a, ordered a bin off of walmart.com. Um, ordered a bin off of there and drilled holes in it and then put the, um, put the, uh, what's it called? Oh, put holes around the side so it can get enough air in there. And then I put some compost out of the compost bin in there and it was e enough so then i just added some of my worms out of there i ordered 250 worms probably a month now yeah it's been about a month um and so they've multiplied for sure i mean it doesn't take worms long to multiply or start giving you worm castings um so i've only been doing one scoop of compost in my bins um, for the fall and I think I only did it in like three of the bins I still have some more planting to do we have these I just put the blood meal inside that with the soil and then when I put my seeds in this afternoon I'm going to fertilize those with fish fertilizer um, so that they can get going I know some people say don't fertilize your seeds I've just had great success fertilizing my seed. Um, only thing I can say is maybe don't over fertilize your seed. But I can't tell you not to because I do it. Um, I did a test, trying it with it, and then without it, the ones with it grew better. So, in my opinion, I'm gonna fertilize my seeds. Oh, I still have my mask on. Um, so yeah, I've done excellent with it. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do today in the garden. I'm just checking everything, make sure everything is fertilized. Um, it has nourishment, planting my last couple bins for the fall. I'm a what I wanna plant. I have three more bags of dirt and one, two, three, four more bins to feel, I think I'm gonna put a more, little more dirt in my raised beds and I'm gonna order some more worms and I'm actually gonna put the worms inside the raised beds bin. So I got these raised beds here. So that's my okra and corn growing in those. And I got another one over there. So I'm gonna do those in that. Sorry. So I'm gonna do those in there and maybe do a little more And that. Once that corn gets a little bigger, I am going to transplant that into the big five gallon grow bags, each one in a grow bag, um, so that they'll have their own separate room to grow. Um, and I may do the okra the same way. Um, no, I won't because you can do nine okra seeds in a 12 by 12 space. And these are all 12 by 12. Let me see if you can see them. Yes, you can see them. Those are all 12 by 12 spaces. So I think I'll leave the okra there. I did three things of nine. Three of them didn't fertilize or either I didn't plant three. I probably didn't plant three because none of those three came up. <laughs> So I probably didn't do it, knowing me. Okay, guys, I think that's it. 
um, waiting for sweet potatoes, waiting for the sweet potatoes to die back. Today's our first day of no rain in probably 10 days. So this is gonna need a lot of time to dry out and before I can harvest those. But I'm still getting a bunch of new leaves and we still have a good bit of butterflies. So I'm trying to wait just a little bit before I do that. Did y'all see the beans? They're growing like crazy. My mother is excited about these. Let me show you. Look, and I just wrapped this thing around here one time and then it just decided to keep doing it. This one too, I wrapped it around once and it's still going. Wrap it around some more, see how it does. So, yep, you can train them to grow up. These are growing a little slow. Not sure exactly yet why. And I think they're only about a week or so apart, but I have one in here that's growing very slow. So I might take that one out and put it in. Oh, I have two. This one's growing slow too. So I'm not too sure why. If you guys know, this is a 20 gallon bin and I have three, I think it's seven around and three on the inside. So 10 total plants in there. If that's too much for a 20 gallon, let me know. Tell me what you think. Um, Cause I definitely don't want to overcrowd it. If I need to separate them, I can. And I would probably prefer to do it at this stage than waiting for them to get a whole lot bigger they have a lot of nutrients in that tub. So let me know what you think. Um, I will check with you all later. I'll do another garden update probably the end of the week, Sunday, or maybe going into next week, Monday. It's hot. Um, so yeah, love you guys to pieces. If there's anything that I can do to help you on your gardening journey, don't hesitate to reach out. All right, bye guys.